Thank you for visiting West Coast Auto Enthusiasts. Today we're featuring a 1987 Toyota Land Cruiser. This is an FJ60. Uh, so those familiar with these rigs, this will be the last year of this particular um, engine and configuration. They had the same body style after this from uh, 88 till 90 or 91, and that was called a 62. Um, some of the differences are this has got round headlights and the 62 had square headlights. And then these were all manual transmissions with manual uh, locks and windows. And the next generation were all uh, automatics with power windows, locks, and um, square headlights. So this is a very, very clean car. It's a two-owner car, clean title, clean car fax. We have records going back to 1997. There's no rust anywhere on this car. Uh, there's been a bunch of money dumped into it. It's got new suspension. We have matching snow tires uh, with studded uh, tires on them. They're white rims. Uh, I've got a picture of that on our website. We also have the uh, all four original steel rims uh, from Toyota. So the paint and interior are immaculate. Um, as I mentioned, no rust, no bodywork. You've got a wilderness rack up top with a floor rack on it, which is an expensive racking system. Uh, you've got a custom made bumper uh, in the back here with a tow hitch on it. So you've got a Yakima bike rack on a full size spare. And then a uh, high lift jack, which is nice. And so this is a swing arm. So you pop that down there, you pull this pin, and then that swings open. That's basically brand new. No signs of wear and tear on that at all. And then uh, here's your bumper, just to show you, so there's no rust or bodywork down here on the bottom of that. Uh, this is a common rust area for uh, Land Cruisers, is this bottom shelf here. So, super clean. You've got a winter wiper on the back. So, I'll show you the interior. So, very, very clean. So this is actually an extra uh, mat. There's the original carpet sits underneath here. But uh, the upholstery, the trim, all that stuff. So again, uh, there's no rust on the uh, the seal here. So this is a very common area of rust uh, for these. Typically water will, will get into these holes, uh, drain and then sit, and then rust out. So not the case on this. So it's only got 123,000 miles on it, which is low. Um, the, uh, the front seats have been reupholstered. They've got uh, sh real sheepskin uh, seat covers on them. So as you can see, again, uh, the trim, I mean, there's not a dent or a scratch or a ding on this car. All the chrome and the trim, as you can see, is all immaculate. So we've seen a lot of Land Cruisers come through our shop. Uh, we've specialized in them for number of years and um, this is as clean and nice a rig as as we've seen so you can see the the uh, the chrome is in great shape the trim on the headlights and the uh, the front grille here that's another common place where you'll see peeling or or chipping and that's all in good shape I've right, got new wiper arms here and then you've got a um, you've got upgraded blades so anyway it's just a really nice rig um, so there's your trim Interior, this is a gray, gray interior that came with gray and tan. And uh, this is a, at least in our opinion, a nicer color combination. As you can see, the, the uh, carpet and trim, very, very clean. So your door panel, again, no rips or tears. This is another common uh, place for damage, rips or tears. So that's all clean. So as I mentioned, real sheet. Uh, real sheepskin seat covers. Um, there's no, this is not hiding anything. These have been reupholstered. This actually was restuffed with new foam. So, and then um, indicative of the FJ60, you've got a manual choke. So, I'll get in and start it. So, he's got a cover. He put a cover to protect the dash, but the dash has been uh, has been redone and uh, no no cracks or tears. That's another common um, place for damage in these things. Is um, those have a tendency to crack just because they dried out from uh, exposure to the sun over a period of time. So, as you can see, it starts right up. That's nice. Uh, even in the colder weather, 
So the center control, center center console, very very clean. Uh, four speed uh, manual transmission. Your transfer case. He installed an incl uh, an inclinometer and a uh, uh, clock down here, which is nice. And then he had all that built in with a uh, a company that does that stuff in dash. Um, AC, the AC blows cold. He just had that worked on. As you can see, 123,669 miles. That's very low mileage for this particular car. Um, so there's your uh, your choke indicator that goes off when it's warmed up. Your brake indicator. Uh, as you can see, the temperature gauge is still we're still cold. But uh, headliner's clean. I mean, there's this is a very very clean FJ. Uh, we you just don't see them like this very often. And um, when you do, we're glad to see them in our shop. We're we're picky about the cruisers we carry, and um, this is in line with this, the kind of stuff we've carried in the past. And again, maybe one of the nicest um, FJs we've had in here. Uh, as you can see, all the trim and everything. It's just a very, very clean rig. It's been very well taken care of. There's no leaks on this, and that's a common thing at the rear main seal and the, uh, the oil pan gasket is very common. This is bone dry underneath. So, anyways, if you've got questions, we've got uh, almost 50 pictures on our website. If you want more information or have questions, feel free to contact us, and we can be reached at 503-227-2354. Thank you for visiting West Coast Auto Enthusiast.